<laughs> yes, we are looking at some rocks, everybody. I've said to Herbert, are we going to do this rock segment? And he said to me, he sort of looked at me as I was mad, started laughing. I said, well, Herbert, have you found us anything else to look at? At which point he looked contrite, and now he's sitting up there and we've been talking about the rocks. <laughs> So now we are doing a segment on something that is unable to move away from us and that we will not have to track. It is, I think, quite interesting. I mean, rocks may put you to sleep. It depends on your, I suppose, your interest in, in whatever happens out here. But this is a sedimentary rock. And you can see it's a sedimentary rock. In other words, it's a rock that has been formed by sediment falling into layers. And you can see those layers very clearly stratified where I'm pointing there with my shtick. There they are. And many millions of years ago, and naturally as inevitable as it... Uh, inevitably, I have forgotten exactly how many million years ago it has been, but I will try and come up with some kind of... Um, answer at some stage. But what happened was that this was a sea. We were sitting, we would have been sitting in a sea and slowly sediment would have built up over the many millions of years and it would have sunk down to the bottom of the sea and it would have formed this rock over, again, millions of years of pressure would have built up. The sediment would have turned to rock. And then the great tectonic movement that destroyed that sea and formed the low felt as we know it today would have occurred. And I don't think it's any surprise that we're sitting on a drainage system here. In fact, the one quite close to Treehouse Dam where Tristan is sitting. What would have happened was during that time or period of tectonic upheaval, there would have been volcanoes and there would have been a great deal of smashing together of plates underneath the ground. And this sedimentary rock would have been turned onto its side and that's why it looks like a sort of multi-layered cake that's been sliced and then turned over and put on its side. And that's basically what's happened here. And all of these things, if you were a geologist, you'd be able to say how old they were. But in every single stratification of the sedimentary rock that's been turned on its side by some long forgotten and ancient upheaval, long before any human was here, long before any animal was here, long perhaps before there was even life on earth, the sediment would have started to form. So can you imagine the history that there is in this rock that we're walking over? And I think that's quite something to think about really, that some of this rock may have been here since before life began, some 1.8 or 1.2 billion years ago. I think that's really quite amazing. Now, some geologists would be able to tell you exactly how old it was, but I'm, I myself am not currently clued up enough to do that. It is granite. It is a granitic... No, it's not. It can't be granite, you know, because granite is volcanic. It looks like granite, but this is a, definitely a sedimentary rock of some kind, so I'm not sure how it would have formed here. Hmm. And Sally, you say <laughs> all the way from Oregon that you love rocks. So I'm so glad you love rocks. Thank you, Sally. I um, quite like them too, and I can't find leopards and elephants and that sort of thing, like Tristan. Um, I'm just having a slightly confusing thought, though, because this is very clearly sedimentary. But this is not, um, I mean, this is an area of granite. So this is unusual. Uh, I'd love to know exactly how this was formed and when it was formed. It might be a bit more recent than I think it is, but it is definitely sedimentary. Here's the granite. I mean, that's, that's very clearly an igneous rock. In other words, it used to be molten lava. And you see the difference. There's no obvious stratification in it at all. It was once a bubble of boiling rock, silica, and various other minerals. And that's formed this thing. In fact, this probably was metamorphic. It's probably been changed many times over the millennia and over the millions of years by pressure under the ground. But what we're sitting on here is definitely sedimentary. And I don't understand why it's like that. Um, V, you want to know how hard a termite mound is in comparison with a rock? Well, let me show you. Come over here. Here is a termite mound. The ter Herbert has just vacated his seat in shame. He's headed north. 
Uh, that's not a termite mound at all. It is in fact a tree. The, let's just walk up the road here. We almost certainly find a termite mound somewhere here. Uh, a termite mound is hard, but nothing like as hard as a rock. It's hard in the same way as sort of baked clay would be hard. But it is not, you could easily chip it away. Um, naturally, I can't even find a termite mound today. So embarrassing. Let's try again. There must be a termite mound here. We're surrounded by the things. Right. I'm going to track a termite mound while Tristan continues towards Treehouse Dam with the elephants.